Liz, it's um, a real pleasure to talk to you here at the Virgin London Marathon 2013. It is not my job to try and make you laugh, so try and keep a serious face. Um, I suppose the thing we've got to get to first here is there's um, something happening to your body right now, and it's all a bit scary. Um, it is. I'm pregnant again, but not with just one baby, with two. So, yeah, we're expecting twins in October. Wow, so you're going to be a family of uh, three children. You've got little Ruby already at home, and she must be about, what, four now? Yeah, she's four in June, starts school in September. So I think that gives me about a month to put my feet up before the terrible two arrive. <laughs> and just tell us that moment when you're there having your sort of 13-week scan and the radiographer says, there are two in there. Well, she, she was scanning and I saw one baby move and I thought, oh, great, you know, it's moving. And then she kind of scanned across and I saw a dividing line go across the screen and then the same picture again and I thought, oh, the scan machine is just playing up, you know. And then she took the scan machine off and went right back and she went, right, here's baby one and here's baby two. And we just both screamed hysterically. We were like, ah! Um, but really, really excited. Um, I think we have to keep pinching ourselves a little bit to remind ourselves what's actually happening and um, there's lots to do to prepare for twins, um, especially with Ruby as well because it means we have, can't have a normal car and you know, lots of little reality checks keep coming in but we're really looking forward to the challenge and yeah, really excited. Well, we know you're up for a challenge. You've, you're a two times um, marathon Olympian. You've, you've raced at all sorts of dif distances from like cross country to track to 10,000 right up into the marathon. So we know you're up for the challenge. So that's a good thing. What's it like to be away from the sport? I, we know that you're an ambassador for Adidas. You coach, you do all sorts of stuff. But what's it like actually to be away from the sport for, in terms of c competition? Um, I'm actually really fine with it. I think lots of people have asked me, oh, how does it feel not to be racing this year? And I think I know I've had my time and I'm really happy just to let it go. Um, I have got no inkling to be out there racing. Um, and I just know that I've done the best I could have done and that my injury in the last three years really impeded my ability to run faster than I had before. And I think you kind of know when your time is up as an elite athlete. Um, okay, I could still go out and probably run 250 or if I wanted to, um, but that for me wasn't what it was all about. All those really hard miles were about running the fastest I've ever run before. And now I can't, no, I won't be able to do that again. I'm kind of quite happy just to let it go. Now, here's a question it's not meant to be negative, but I, I think all good sports people have a little regret somewhere. If, if you had a regret, what would it be about your career? Um, I think not falling over in Beijing, um, I got tripped up at 10 miles and cracked a rib and I was probably in the best shape of my life and for me, not really, I mean I couldn't have changed, it, it wasn't me that tripped myself up but I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and for me it would have been really interesting to see what I could have really achieved on that day having prepared so well and really had quite a flawless build up towards that marathon. Um, so yeah, maybe that would be it. And everyone knows, or we were just talking earlier there, that you know to have a, a flawless preparation coming to into a marathon is actually quite rare because of the mileage that marathon runners do. You know, you're always just on the verge, aren't you, of a little niggle or a little injury? Yeah, marathon running really pushes the boundaries. So, I mean, of the regular runner and, of course, the elite, and you really find where your weaknesses lie. And I think being an elite athlete is about or any athlete is about juggling those and managing those to the best of your ability and I think in 2008 in preparation for Beijing I really found what worked for me, I found the right ingredients to put in the mixing bowl and everything was coming together so um, yeah for me I felt like I was really on it and I can look back fondly at kind of that, those times. And um, just now a little bit of talk about running and babies and uh, Ruby, you, ran, you said you ran with her up until 20 weeks. Th this time is going to be a little bit harder, isn't it? Well, yeah, and I've been running. Or when I say running, when I say running, let, you know, we have to put it into perspective. It's just kind of run to, yeah. for fun, isn't it? It's shuffling at the moment. Um, yeah, I shuffle to the beach and back, but I have been finding a lot harder this time. With Ruby, I'd have good days and bad days, as you do when you're pregnant, depending on hormonal levels. And this time I've been really struggling. And now I know it's twins, I know why. It's like double the hormones and um, double the lethargy. Um, so I've been run walking a lot, just because I've found it quite hard to run. 
and I'm quite sensible. I've been listening to my body, so yeah, I still get out, and I think just getting out into the fresh air and being active is really good for pregnancy. And you know, I wouldn't feel quite the same if I didn't. And what what advice would you give to sort of pregnant women out there? Because there are a lot of theories and ideas and views on what you should and you shouldn't do. So, what advice would you have for, say, a woman who who runs, a, you know, a sort of regular runner, maybe not your standard, but a pregnant woman who still wants to run in pregnancy? I think if you ran prior to pregnancy, it's okay to run when you're pregnant. Um, I wouldn't take up running when you find out you're pregnant. Um, but I think it's really important to maybe reduce what you do, reduce the volume and the intensity, and just run on feel. Um, and I think if it doesn't feel right, then don't do it. It's got to feel comfortable for you and your baby. Um, and. I don't think pregnancy is a time to get fit, it's about being fit for pregnancy. Um, you know, you can always get fit again after you've given birth and I think you have to keep that in mind. I think that's very sound advice. I know that I struggled with the second one. By nine weeks, I thought, no, this isn't happening. But anyway, this is London Marathon weekend. Um, so I've got to ask you the question, what are your predictions for the men and the women's race? Firstly, the men's. Oh gee, the men's race is just going to be stunning with the kind of the three top men in the world running. Um, I think it's purely going to be a battle of those guys. Um, I'd love um, Wilson to, you know, have a good crack at it, but who knows on the day? I mean, this, their PBs are so close and within each other, and the conditions are going to be perfect. And they don't give much away about their preparation, so they're very hard to read. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I think they'll just run away from everyone. And uh, the women's race? I've no idea. I don't know. I haven't um, eyed the women's race very closely. Um, obviously, there's the obvious Africans. And um, I was really looking at the Brits and hoping Freya would have a really good run. But, unfortunately, she's had to pull out with a hamstring injury. Um, yeah, we spoke about Freya Murray, or now Ross, isn't it, earlier. And um, she... This is how it goes, doesn't it? I mean, she's come in to the marathon with really good preparation and just five days out, she's, she's torn a hamstring. Yeah, and it's, I mean, injuries do happen this close to a marathon and it's really unfortunate because I think she was really ready for a great run and hopefully she can get her hamstring sorted and get back and run, you know, and show her real potential over the marathon distance again in the future. It's been lovely talking to you and uh, we look forward to catching up and finding out how your birth, how your birth, <laughs> how the pregnancy goes and, and looking forward to hearing about the twins. Thank you very much.